Hi everybody. I was asked to make a video showing you how to take up the side seams of a shirt and how to dart the back. This video is only how to do the side seams and um, I'm working with a shirt that has flat felt seams which means it's going to look the same on the inside as it does the outside pretty much not exactly. So this one has a tab at the bottom and you can tell on the seams it looks pretty much the same on the inside and the outside. Now if you were to have a shirt with a serge seam, you would be able to turn this shirt inside out and mark it and sew it from that way. But because it's this flat felt seam, we're going to work from the outside, the right side. And so you're going to want to put your shirt on and pin it, uh, take up the sides like this and pin it until it fits the way you want it to. The first thing we're going to do is take off this tab and um, you'll have to be careful. These stitches are, are kind of tight and you can tell I already tore the shirt, but that's okay. I bought this shirt at the Goodwill uh, strictly for this video. So it's not a customer. It's not for a customer. So when you're picking your stitches out, it's best to work from the top and get that point underneath it and just break them off like that. And this shirt has really tight stitches so it took me quite a bit of time getting all this this hem out um, but what I like about the seams is that it has it's chain stitch those um, flat felt seams are chain stitch so if you find that right thread it's going to pull it out and I'll show you what that looks like now once you get your tab off don't mess with it too much. Don't open it up and press it and whatever. Um, just lay it down, steam it, wait till the steam stops, and then that's it. It'll be, it'll look really nice for when you put it back on. So here's the chain stitches. And if you grab the right stitch, the right thread, it's just going to pull that whole thing out. Now, what you have to do is go up about an inch or so above where you want to end and cut those stitches. Because if you pull this out, like this, it's, if you're not, if you don't cut those stitches, it's going to pull the threads out all the way to your cuff and give you more work than you wanted to do. So that's done. And, and now I'm pulling the stitches out. Now, when you're doing this, just be careful not to pull the fabric apart once you get the stitches out, because getting them back together is not going to be fun. So just make sure everything stays together. So now that you have the stitches out, um, close that shirt back up and pin where you want it to, to be uh, taken up to. So I think I did an inch. I didn't, I didn't really need this for anything. I just, I'm just doing an inch because I didn't want to take too much off because I'm going to reuse a shirt for myself. I'm going to make it into something else. Now I'm taking the top stitches out since the, the chain stitch is already removed from the bottom. Now I mark my, my garments. A lot of people don't. I am not an eyeballer. And up here is where I really need to taper. So I use a ruler. I like things to look really good. I don't eyeball anything. I measure everything. Even after 30 years of sewing, I still do it this way. But if you can eyeball it, eyeball it. Now what we're going to have to do is align. This is hard to explain. Your stitching line needs to align with the sewing on the right. You, you have two, two lines of stitching and yours has to align with the one on the right. And then you sew all the way down. And when you get to the hem, you have to make sure that you have removed enough of the hem on each side of the seam because you need to open the hem up when you're sewing down because if you're taking up a lot in the side then the hem is going to be uneven and you'll have to recut that it's not difficult but and I don't think I had to recut mine um, because I was only taking up an inch Now, 
once this is done, you're going to have to trim off the sides, but measure from the original stitching to the end, to the, to the edges. Um, and I think this one was like an inch and a quarter, no, an inch and an eighth. Um, the back fabric was an inch and an eighth. The front fabric was three quarters. So when I go to cut it, I have to make sure I keep those measurements so that the flat felled seam is the same. So I'm pressing everything open. And then I'm going to measure up um, from my new stitching line one and one eighth inches and I'm going to cut both fabrics. I'm going to go back and then I'm going to cut the top layer um, three quarters of an inch because you're going to fold the back one over the front one. You're going to fold them all together over again. I understand this takes longer, but it just makes me feel good to know that it's going to look right when I'm done. Um, it's really important to me that when I finish doing an alteration, it looks exactly like it did when they handed it to me in the first place. I worked for someone who just hacked everything off and it didn't even look the same. And I figure if the customer bought it, look in a certain way, they'll want it back the certain way. So here we are now we're, since we sewed the side seam and we trimmed it, um, now we start folding it and I pin it with my points towards the hem because that's how I'm going to sew it. I'm going to start at the hem and move up. And what's nice about working from the outside is you actually get to see what it's going to look like as you're doing it. If it looks funny, if it looks too big, you can trim it down and you don't have to wait until the end. And you're working from the outside where people will actually see it. Now, when you get to the top, it's, if it's not sewn right, you're going to know, but, and it'll give you the opportunity to fix it. Um, if those, if your new stitching line does not match up correctly, you're going to know, and it'll give you the opportunity to go back and fix it. This stitching line needs to match up with the old one or the existing one. And then when it lays down and you have it pinned and it looks right, then you got it right. Okay. And so the last part of the stitching here. You know, when I first learned to do this, it just, I was so scared, but really the more you do it, the easier it gets and the faster it gets. So, you know, practice. Okay. And there it is. Now we have to put the tab back on and I make sure the hem is down. I'm going to pin that in place. And then just sew over right around the edges. And then you, while you're at the machine, you fold that up and then you just hem the shirt back up. And that's what it looks like. If you like this video, and you found it useful, um, feel free to share it, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you're notified when I upload more videos. Thank you very much. Bye.